Com nada. E, e os colares aqui? Colar, panela, tudo. Olha aqui, olha aqui, olha. Ai, Dia ai, de vai. noite. Não há dúvida nenhuma que eles não gostam de espelho. Olha aqui, olha. olha. Quebrado todo esse. Olha. Olha. Ai, pô, o cara de espelho. Agora, olha. Que beleza. Olha aqui. Esse que tá aí, hein? Olha aqui. Os aviões não levaram também. Olha, ah, esse tá aí. olha que peça que tem. Terceiras as bordunas, né? Olha aqui, rapaz. Cortaram com o dente. This is the first break, the first sign or hint of friendship. We must take the clubs as an invitation and follow the trail that was used last night. It begins to look as if the Kreena Crory are the sort of Indians who don't have a permanent village. They build rough shelters and move every few days from hunting ground to fishing ground, from plantation to plantation. So we play a game of hide and seek. In which of a dozen places like this did they eat and sleep last night? We found it. This is the one. 
like that baskets for carrying food. So they were here last night. It looks as if they're just ahead of us. Obviously, we interrupted as they were packing to move. These baskets change our whole strategy. An Indian has few possessions. If he leaves them, he's really frightened. And if he's that frightened, any more pressure will drive him to the other end of the last. After six weeks they've had the courage. But what reason can there be, even in a primitive mind, to throw away the pots when you take the axes? Muito isolado, muito medroso, tudo que é fora. From now on, the presents should be taken and replaced every few weeks. But exchanges like this have been known to last for months or even years. It will go on for five months. But unlike the Queen of Crory, rain is predictable. It has the known limit of April next year. If nothing else, it gives time to think. What is the problem of these Kree Nakrori, who've killed everyone they've seen for hundreds of years? Other Indians at least capture the children. The Kree Nakrori kill everybody. They have therefore not only never met strangers, they've no experience that such meetings are possible. What it means is that an essential human idea is missing from their minds, just as many other things are missing from their society. Unlike the Shingu Indians, the Kree Nakrori have never learned to make a pot, yet it's essential to most cooking. They can't make the mandioca bread, which is the staple of most Indian diets. And though they must have seen canoes, they don't know how to build them. They've never travelled on the great rivers and open plains, that are the natural meeting place of Indians. And above all, they've never known the cultured life of one tribe in ceremonial contact with another. And so they crouch in the jungle until we come. They want to meet us, but the idea of meeting us is against all their history. Thus, the Kree Nakrori are now struggling with an idea as revolutionary as nuclear physics. In some camp like this, they're torn by confusion. And when the climax comes, it will smash the pillars of this society. When eventually they walk from the trees, they will already be new men. After three months of rain, the village of the Presence is almost overgrown and the hopes of a quick meeting with the Kriya Nakrori almost equally stifled. The last batch of presents is still untouched. The maize, long ripe, is still uneaten. And Claudio, worried by the delay, is growing nervous as he faces the possibility of a long siege. As long as I am here, I am calling to them. 
In the emptiness of the jungle, my human nature is a magnet to theirs. In this way, human groups have always been drawn to other groups, till after thousands of years, all mankind lives in a world civilization. Only those with an extreme fear remain outside, and this fear thrives in the loneliness of the jungle. If people say every month shows its strain in me, then how much more the Kreena Crawley who have been alone for hundreds of years. I must therefore... The crisis began when an approaching plane wireless at the Kashimbu runway was blocked. The base's operator rushed out, saw an Indian and fired a shot. In the scrub, 60 of the unknown Crianacrori tribe dropped their bows and fled. Later, a plane rushing in reinforcements crashed, killing 20 men. More lives to add to the English explorer whose body, some years before, was recovered from a Crianacrori ambush. Unknown but always in the headlines, the government decides that peace must be made with the Crianacrori. the only tribe that knows the Crean Crawley, I travel deeper into the jungle, across the reserve. Cage a bird and it will die. Cage an Indian and he loses the will for life. That's why we fought for the reserve. The Indian is born to hunt these animals, to move as freely as they do. This is the rhythm of his existence, and it must be preserved till he adapts to the faster rhythm of our modern life. party, an arrival, any sort of excitement. These are the age-old enemies of the Kreena Crawley. They're also the only people on Earth who know anything about them.
The Zuka Hamai tribe were the greatest fighters of this century. They killed scores of white men, and we took years to contact them. But though they're enemies of the Kree Nakrori, we think they're similar in culture, and so can teach us something about them. Inside the group, they're loving, generous, and affectionate. But outside is the jungle, and there everything hunts and is hunted. A cultured harmony between man and his environment. The dancing stopped when flu, brought by our expedition, swept through the villages. We radioed for medicine to the government department that had sent us. How can we look after Indians, was their reply, when there's not enough medicine for the slums of Rio? <coughs> and thus we learnt, as young men, that though some Indians may be murdered, most die from neglect. <coughs> so we bought medicine from our salaries and organised our men into medical teams. But at the end, there were nine graves, including the chief. And Indians also believe that most disease comes from magic. The witch doctor was accused of causing the epidemic. And completely passive in his fatalism, he lay for several days in his hammock. He just waited until they came for him in the night of full moon. They clubbed him to death in the village square, close to the eagle's cage. <laughs> Then they burnt the chief's house, and those most bitter flames of our life taught us how dangerous were the effects of civilization, and that if we were civilized, our duty was to stay and help. Twenty years later, that help has rescued the tribe from the prospectors. They arrive deep in the jungle at the Shingu Reserve. It's the brothers' policy that isolated tribes are taught to live with other Indians before they live with civilization. One day, the unknown Kriyanakrori tribe will arrive like this. In 1961, the tribes in the reserve massacred half the arriving tribe. Some years before, the arriving tribe had stolen a girl from the reserve Indians who now want her back. She's crying, but she's assured by the brothers that she won't be forced to leave the husband who captured her. It's the first of an endless series of problems and the new tribe a right to feel apprehensive. Almost anywhere else, their chances would be extinction rather than survival. In the whole of Brazil, the Xingu Reserve is the only place where a large group of tribes is not dying, but is actually on the increase. Teams of doctors move from village to village. There's a plane for emergencies, also a hospital. Indians run the reserve and its machines, but nothing is forced on them. They're only taught what they want and when they ask for it. Fabio brincava na calçada e logo se. They ask for our tools and techniques, but the old culture remains the unchallenged core of their society. What the brothers offer is a period of adjustment before the full shock of the modern world. And so invading prospectors are thrown out. Mas eles estão ainda em estado de, de briga. Hum, e a sorte dos senhores também foi entrar à direita aqui no Rio Coluene. Porque se o senhor continua em linha reta, ia cair na mão dos Juruna. Também não iam perdoar. Se escapar. But for the Indian, there is no punishment, no police, and no law beyond persuasion. Esse colar é muito feio. Olha a cara do colar. Que vai lá buscar doença para vir morrer criança aqui. Vai lá buscar doença e depois começa a morrer criança. Que agora não tem criança a morrer. Olha lá, galera. 
He's heard unknown Indians in the jungle. They're offering to capture them, but Claudio says he must do it. It's the start and foundation of his whole policy. The news is that unknown Indians have attacked the jungle base of Kashimbu, and the Air Force is flying. Well, I started drinking when I was 16 years old and still schooling. I started a friendship with four girls. Uh, one of my friends convinced me to take beer. I took so many beers after that that I couldn't stand on my two feet after that. From that day, I was just going along with them while we were absconding studies in, in the last trimester. The principal called us in and he told my parents that, that now we, we, are, we just have to uh, suspend her. My parents, they talked to me. They said, if you don't want to go to school, just tell us and we we'll, we won't have to waste our money. I was really ashamed of what I did. Well, I said, I want to change and I changed. And well, here I am doing things and I'm now a good girl going by the rules. And well, <laughs> I'm happy with my life now. I don't drink anymore. <laughs> Well, 
Korutumba, Nukumba Yungura, who are Kakina Mu. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know. 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 I didn't No. Camera. Camera. You can tell you can take a lot of pictures. Ja, yeah, de vlaggen. Oh. Oh. Ja. Weet je wat de zie kan zeker? De paramateurs hebben toen hier. Uh... Oké. Okay. Dank je, Nico. Okay. Nico, dank je. Oh. Verera is 15. She's about to marry a man she's never met. For the first time, she's just been taken away from her family to her future husband's village, which will be her new home. Komoi Pundo, the man she will marry, went with his mother to collect her. But now the bride and groom must travel separately. They will not meet until they arrive at his village. The groom's mother, Ngororo, arranged the marriage, and it's through the female side of the family that social bonds and inheritance are determined. His father, Kamapia, is head of the family, and over the next few weeks will be responsible for performing the wedding rituals. <laughs> Ngororo, Ferreira's mother-in-law, claimed her while she was still in her mother's womb. Yeah, 
Her future husband, Komoi Pundo, has known about the marriage arrangement all his life. Although they haven't met, he has watched Ferreira growing up from a distance. On Verera's first night in the village, her future father-in-law rubs her stomach with his family's sacred butterfat to start the process of initiating her into the family. He teaches her about the new taboos she must now observe as she becomes part of her new husband's family. For Verera, the observance of a new set of rules marks the end of her old life with her parents and everything she was accustomed to during her childhood. Yes. 
Ja. Ja. Wat is het? Nog, nog, nog tien. Nog tien, hè? Ja, ook oh, nog tien. Was het 160? Ja, nog tien. Maar aan het andere ding. Hier moet nog aan even lekker. Het is trekt het niet. Krok ik van. Can I have a picture with her? Yes. Not too long, else we will not be able to 
just gonna be <laughs> Well, I started drinking when I was 16 years old and still schooling. I started friendship with four girls. Uh, one of my friends convinced me to take beer. I took so many beers after that that I couldn't stand on my two feet after. From that day, I was just going along with them. Well, we were absconding studies in, in the last trimester. The principal called us in and he told my parents that uh, now we, we, are, we just have to uh, suspend her. My parents, they talked to me. They said, if you don't want to go to school, just tell us and we we'll, we won't have to waste our money. I was really ashamed of what I did. Well, I said, I want to change and I changed. And well, here yeah, I am doing things, and I'm now a good girl, going by the rules. And well, I'm happy with my life now. I don't drink anymore. No vanache or mutanda, one by one naked animal. Basilic will grow you good. Basilic will go up. Basilic will cut the top, Munuma go with you. Cavatunuko, Munu, and you are send that on you in a candy, you know, Chicago or who are prayer. Call Tumbo, Nukungo Yungura, who are Kachina Mu. Ovin Moa Omavin, Ojin Majiv, Mikan, Rinapangandai Tandar, Mikan. Awu nachi awu awu ra manjar awu ha manjat awu ire mezuk awu pi awu ngabele pa ro gondam mahara ya tauk. Ali, sa ibom ibom ayo yoli ni tantu sa. Ta ori pure. Hello. 
Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, Ferreira's leather headdress signifies her status as a newly married woman.
No. Camera. Camera. You can tell. You can take a lot of pictures. Ja, de vlaggen erbij? Ja, de vlaggen. Aan wat ben jij? Oh, ja. Weet je de ziekant zeker? De parameters zijn toen hier. Oké. Thank you, Nico. Nico, thank you. Lives. Verera is 15. She's about to marry a man she's never met. For the first time, she's just been taken away from her family to her future husband's village, which will be her new home. Komoi Pundo, the man she will marry, went with his mother to collect her. But now the bride and groom must travel separately. They will not meet until they arrive at his village. The groom's mother, Ngororo, arranged the marriage and it's through the female side of the family that social bonds and inheritance are determined. His father, Kamapia, is head of the family and over the next few weeks will be responsible for performing the wedding rituals. <laughs> Ngororo, Ferreira's mother-in-law, claimed her while she was still in her mother's womb. Okay. Her future husband, Komoi Pundo, has known about the marriage arrangement all his life. Although they haven't met, he has watched Ferreira growing up from a distance. On Verera's first night in the village, her future father-in-law rubs her stomach with his family's sacred butter fat to start the process of initiating her into the family. He teaches her about the new taboos she must now observe as she becomes part of her new husband's family. For Verera, the observance of a new set of rules marks the end of her old life with her parents.
and everything she was accustomed to during her childhood. I am married. Yeah, I am married, yes. <laughs> Ivan is not married. He, he is still looking for a girl. Two wives. Can I have a picture with her? Yes. Hmm? Niet te lang, anders moet mijn nas niet doen. Kan ik eens naar haar
Wenn Teil von das Körper treffen werden, sage ich es, lebt dann ein Nummer. Und ihr lässt planen. Durch Ritual wissen die ja, dass die den nicht planen, im eigenen Bus sein wird. Die sind dann überzeugt, dass Spurenende, es ist der Erinnerung, mein Pult wird. Wo und so wird's noch mal. Die Jungen müssen sich inzwischen klaren darüber, der biologisch genähe Scheitung der Apotheke war, ein wichtiger Beitrag zur Bekämpfung der Unheilbarkeiten, Alma E. und Kreisland kann. Die sind eurer G, ihr wisst zu weit. Ah, sie wollen sie nicht hinters stellen. Viele können fair all an die Farmindustrie dazu beitragen, die Wälder und die Lebensweiser bewohnt erhalten. Fest ist, ein Wissenschaftler wird jeder Zoologe sich jedes Signal so durchschauen, wie ja, die selbst ein Teil von sind. Sie lernen zum Beispiel das wie jeder andere, kann doch bis zu 20 Jahre was sparen. Zielt nicht nur für den Feuchtigkeitshaus, hast du Signal, sondern die Rolle von die auch als Welle höchst in Jahr. Sie sind in die Anna von Generation zu Generation bei. Da erhalten Sie den anzeigenden Saum, so ihr die auch unser Leben kann. Als Schaden soll es in AW nicht nur die Wirkung von Pflanzen, sondern das auch mit. Sie fälschen Genehmigungen, da angeblich im Auftrag sie anschauen, wie wir hätten. Dann sie zählen Leute und nicht die Hände kommen. Die Flaut der Korbus. Entgung von fünften Besucher und zu leichter Wappen. Auch die Führerin entsetzt mir wieder. Er war, sagt sie, er ist Frontier, was ihm begegnet ist. Und zwar in der Ersten Flug entlander so zwischen der Korbus und unigen Weißen nicht gleich kommen. Er sieht noch.
The second reason is for the insects. If there is mosquitoes and flies, they make a small fire. Another reason is for cold. During during May, during May, June, July, it's very cold. They make a small fire to keep them warm. She say, she say you are beautiful. Thank you. Uh, mm. because, because they hate uh, when the headman was asking that you don't have a wife, you, you don't have a baby. So they know you are alone. So. But they say you are welcome to take two or three. You can go there, select this one, this one, this one is mine. You you take. No problem. But you must remember the then I come here and I live here with them uh, they, they say they, you can take them, but they, they are going to take the red color together because they are not going to wash. Okay. Mm. They are going to paint their body red. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And you... Okay, yeah, it's going to change. Okay, now she, 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 she finished bath. Now she's going to show us the perfume, the deodorant. So like we do, you and me, we wash with water. Perfume themselves. That's their perfume. Me, we use deodorant, but the Hindu use fire perfume, smoke perfume. Mm. The men also use this? No, no, no. Only women. Only women. Hmm. <laughs> and then they were, were good. Oh, good job. Oh, oh Dara, you said it was me. Because you must remember very well, Himba women. They don't wear underwear, huh? they are naked. Mm. And because they don't use water, she's going to sit on top of this perfume yeah. to perfume the whole body. How much money do you give him? I'm bad with it. I'm not going to give him a good day. I'm not going to give him a good day.
From there, she put under a basket. Under that basket, they put the clothes, the jewelry, the necklaces. Oh, okay. Everything. <laughs>
Men het trekt het niet. Kijk ik voor hem, dat wil beter zijn. Ik ben bezig aan het filmen. Roep je de andere wing? Komt de keer binnen allemaal? Ze gaan doen hoe dan ze dat dat oker maken voor al rint te vrijen en de parfumer allemaal. Ook en en die andere is is koudwater. Koudwater. Ja, dat is met de koudwater. Hier kerle. Nog eentje die er gaan bewust moet. Dan weer. She want. She don't want. Hobie. Allah, you're so holy, buddy. What she said? What she said? Why did you go there? 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 Why did you go
Hebben we nog van Dirk? Ja.
No. Camera. Camera. You can tell you can take a lot of pictures. Ja, de vlaggen. Oh. Ja. Weet je wat de zie kan zeker de parameters hebben. Verera is 15. She's about to marry a man she's never met. For the first time, she's just been taken away from her family to her future husband's village, which will be her new home. Komoi Pundo, the man she will marry, went with his mother to collect her. But now the bride and groom must travel separately. They will not meet until they arrive at his village. The groom's mother, Ngororo, arranged the marriage, and it's through the female side of the family that social bonds and inheritance are determined. His father, Kamapia, is head of the family, and over the next few weeks will be responsible for performing the wedding rituals. Ngororo, Ferreira's mother-in-law, claimed her while she was still in her mother's womb. <laughs> Hm. <laughs> Her future husband, Komoi Pundo, has known about the marriage arrangement all his life. Although they haven't met, he has watched Ferreira growing up from a distance. <laughs> On Verera's first night in the village, her future father-in-law rubs her stomach with his family's sacred butterfat to start the process of initiating her into the family. <laughs> He teaches her about the new taboos she must now observe as she becomes part of her new husband's family. For Verera, the observance of a new set of rules marks the end of her old life with her parents 
and everything she was accustomed to during her childhood. Well, I started drinking when I was 16 years old and still schooling. I started a friendship with four girls. Uh, one of my friends convinced me to take beer. Ja, de vlaggen? Oh, 
Ja. Een beetje op de ziekant zeker, de paramateurs naar Tony hier. Oké. Okay. Thank you, Nico. Nico, thank you. Allee, ja, Ivan, Ivan, gaan jullie in je tenten zijn? Ja, ik sta hier voor echt. Dat is goed, dat is Hello. Was 160? Ja, zal maar nog 10 heen. Hier moet nog aan even lekker. Het is trekt het niet. Kijk ik van.
Ivan is not married. <laughs> he, he is still looking for a girl. <laughs> Two wives. Can I have a picture with her? Yes. Niet te lang, anders moet mijn nas niet doen. Ik ben een pieper. 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 Ik No, 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 no,
Ya va a venir la rabia, pero no. Ah, cultura. 